Welcome back to the Universal Orlando Resort. In this video, we'll take a detailed tour of the recently closed Woody Woodpecker Kids Zone, as well as check out the latest construction progress in this area. Now, it was back in November that Universal announced the closure of this land with the following attractions closing, Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster, Fievel's Water Slide, as well as Fievel's Playland, Curious George Goes to Town, the Shrek meet and greet with Donkey, as well as the DreamWorks destination. With the following attractions remaining open, E.T. Adventure, SpongeBob Store Pants, Animal Actors on Location, and Kid Zone Pizza Company. The Kid Zone opened originally with the park back on June 7th, 1990 and was in operation all the way until January 15th of 2023. So it was there for a total of 32 years. And of course, the land is home to the only remaining opening day attraction, E.T. Adventure. As of recording this video, it is February 15th, 2023. Universal has yet to announce what will replace the Kid Zone. It is, however, rumored that this area will be rethemed to something from DreamWorks. As we begin to enter the land here, this is filmed just a couple of weeks before the area closed, and this is filmed right as the park opened at 9 a.m. The Kid Zone didn't open fully until 10 a.m., so you can see it's pretty slow back here. You can't actually walk past the sort of entrance area to Fievel's Playland. Now currently this area has construction walls covering this whole area almost right up to ET Adventure. There's only maybe about 15 feet um, of this area that you can now walk in that's closest towards the gift shop for E.T. and the ride entrance. One thing of note here is you'll see the stage that sat here in front of the E.T. Adventure kind of obstructed the view of the entrance if you weren't familiar with the park knowing the ride sat back there. Now I only saw the stage used a handful of times and it does appear that it is being demolished. The construction walls appear to be just right on the other side of the stage so my guess is when they get this area cleared out, they will pull the construction walls back so there's more room. It's kind of bottleneck now if you try to go to the ET Adventure. And we'll look at that later in the video. Here's just a close look of the Fievel's Playland area. Since the Kid Zone wasn't fully open yet, I thought I would capture some footage of this area. You can see this is pretty much stroller parking area for E.T. Adventure, but it does give you a unique view into this playland. Now we'll re-enter the land. It is now past 10 a.m., so the land is completely opened. We'll take a look at it here. You can see the sign over there, uh, which stood there for so long. They have since uh, removed the sign from there, and the construction walls pretty much start right at where that sign is can see this is the entrance for the animal actors on location stage and to the right is the SpongeBob SquarePants store as we look over here towards the left you can see these signs which show all the attractions that are in this area of course most of these are all gone now uh, with the only thing remaining is of course CT Adventure now, if you had the chance to visit Universal back in the early 1990s when it first opened, there was a second entrance and exit to the park over here, which would take you to the original Hard Rock Cafe restaurant. We'll take a look at that. The original Hard Rock Cafe restaurant closed back in 1998, but the building actually sat there abandoned and empty all the way until October 6th. 2011 which is kind of interesting one of the first videos I filmed here at Universal was actually of that abandoned Hard Rock Cafe now we're heading into Fievel's Playland here and you can see that this area it does appear that it was recently repainted I think it was closed and there was quite a bit of maintenance work done on it just a couple of months before it closed and you can see everything does look pretty good in this area. 
And at this time, no one knows for sure what's going to happen with this area. Will they bulldoze this area completely and build something new? Could it just be rethemed to DreamWorks? We really don't know yet. Now, personally, I think I would like to see this area bulldozed completely and see Universal build something nice and new in this area. But we'll have to wait and see uh, what changes they end up making back here. Another interesting thing about this area back here, several years ago, this land was supposedly going to become the Super Nintendo World, which Universal is now building over at Epic Universe. For those of you that are unaware, Universal is building a new theme park uh, located a couple miles away from here. It is going to be uh, south on International Drive near the Convention Center and it will open in summer of 2025. As I previously mentioned, the original Hard Rock Cafe was back in this area. This area has undergone quite a few changes since the park originally opened. The DreamWorks Destination Building used to actually be a day in the park with Barney, which operated from July 11th, 1995, all the way until February 3rd, 2021. And the exit for that, which was a gift shop, was turned into a meet and greet for Shrek and Donkey, which was previously located near the Shrek 4D ride, which closed back in January of 2021. Now that is going to become a Minions attraction, which will open later this summer. No official date has been given just yet. The building you see straight ahead is where that meet and greet was located. In this area before uh, Day in the Park with Barney opened back in 1995 was the Bates Motel set, which was originally built for the 1990 made-for-TV movie cycle for the beginning. And it stood there from 1990 to 1995. It was also used for Halloween Horror Nights at one point in time. Now located right next to Fievel's Playland here, of course, is Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. And even though Universal mentioned that this coaster will be going away, I wouldn't be surprised to see it rethemed to something from DreamWorks. Maybe it could be rethemed to Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, The Secret Life of Pets. It's really hard to say right now. On the construction walls they've placed up in this area, they do have a lot of DreamWorks animation and characters on them. And we'll look at those here at the end of the video. This, of course, is the entrance for Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. And we're walking straight ahead to the Curious George area. But first, we'll take a look at the original Hard Rock Cafe. You can see an aerial promotional shot of it here. Here's part of the video I took of it back in 2011 followed by some aerial images from Google. You can see exactly where it sat there. It's located right next to the parking lot for the Hard Rock Hotel, which sits there now. Just interesting to look back and see that it sat there empty and abandoned for almost 12 years. Now, before we head into the Curious George Goes to Town area, we'll take a 360 degree shot here Looking back, you can see there's another kid zone sign. To the right there is the DreamWorks Destination Building. Now as we go into the Curious George area, you'll see some of the theming. They had these uh, prints of Curious George going in here. And some of the theming, they had these books from the series. And this area had a play area, splash pad, um, and you could get really wet in here. They had a lot of water elements in here. If you aren't careful, you could get soaked in here. We're gonna take a walk back here on the path. There's a path you can take because there's a ball factory back here. It has a interactive play area. There's a path that they have marked where you actually don't get wet and you can walk through here. Now this part of the park always felt really outdated to me. And when you look at some of the characters back here like Curious George, uh, Woody Woodpecker, Fievel, as well as Barney, a lot of those characters really haven't been relevant for a very long time. So I think an update to this area is a great idea. We'll just have to see what kind of updates Universal goes with. 
Now, I'm only speculating on this, but my guess is that this area will not reopen this year in 2023 and is more than likely to reopen in 2024. Now, you see these red footprints here. These were placed here to show you where you can walk back here without getting wet. And what I'm doing here is I'm walking back to the ball factory here which it's an interactive area where you could pick up these balls and you could put them into these uh, kind of cannons and you could shoot them at people here. You can see taking a look back at the uh, Curious George section before we go into the ball factory. And if it wasn't for running this YouTube channel for so long, I probably would have hardly ever come back in this area. Uh, when I would go and film, you know, at least once a year, I would go around the whole park and kind of film an update, a tour around the park, what it looked like, uh, typically towards the beginning of the year. Uh, but this area, I actually didn't even know was back here for the longest time until I started filming videos and uploading them here. I remember when I first discovered this area, I was kind of blown away. Uh, because at that point I thought I knew where everything was in the park and that I had seen everything. I would guess that a ton of people probably never knew this was back here. Almost all of my memories from this area consist of just coming back here with my camera to take photos and videos. I did visit the park. The first time I visited Universal Studios Florida was back, I think it was in 1993 in the summer. And... It was quite a different park then, but I do remember eating at the original Hard Rock Cafe and using that entrance over there. Of course, the park has changed greatly since it originally opened. Some of the original attractions, of course, were Jaws, Confrontation, Back to the Future, Earthquake, the Hanna-Barbera ride, and of course, Nickelodeon Studios. One thing I would really like to see added here is the Secret Life of Pets ride. It's a ride they built a couple years ago at Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, if you haven't seen the ride, you can just do a search on YouTube and there are some point of view videos on there. At this point, Universal has given no indication of what will be built back here. We don't know if there will be any rides back here, if there will be similar attractions to what, uh, what we see in this video. It's kind of hard to say. One interesting thing about Universal is when they start construction on a ride, they don't always announce what they are building, kind of like they did with Velocicoaster over at Islands of Adventure. I think Velocicoaster had been under construction for a couple of years and had already gone vertical before they officially announced it. And even as we look over at Epic Universe, the new park they're building, the only land that they've actually confirmed that's going to that park is Super Nintendo World. And most of the other lands that are coming to the park have only been discovered through the permits that Universal has filed for those, which include blueprints and other details, as well as ride manufacturers. Other lands that are rumored, uh, speculated to be coming to Epic Universe, include another land for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, a land for classic Universal Monsters, one for How to Train Your Dragon, and the hub area of the park is thought to be based on science fiction novels like those written by H.G. Wells and will contain multiple attractions including there's going to be one dueling coaster as well as some other unknown attractions which we'll all find out about in the near future. Now, as we head out of this area, we'll take one final look back at the Curious George Goes to Town area. You can see all the splash pads in action there. You can also see how slow this section of the park is. It does typically get some bigger crowds later on in the day, but overall I would say it was the least popular, uh, least visited area of the park. Of course, you're not going to go back in this area likely unless you have small children. Now as we make our way out of here, we're going to take a look over here at the area by the DreamWorks destination. Of course, as I mentioned previously, this is the area that used to be a day in the park with Barney, which operated from 1995 to 2021. 
And for this particular video, I'm just kind of taking my time walking through here just to take in this area one last time. It's always so interesting to get footage like this to be able to look back on later, especially once everything has changed. Even uh, sometimes, you know, you go to the park and you may take a photo or video or something, and uh, the next time you go there, um, you know, whatever you captured might not be there. They could change it. They do make so many unannounced changes at these parks. Sometimes you never know if what you see will be there on your next visit. There's been so many changes here at Universal in recent years. Of course, there's a ton of construction going on at the front of the park where the Shrek 40 ride has closed and it's becoming a Minions attraction. They also closed the Monstrous Cafe and it is now becoming a Minions themed cafe both of which open later this year. Now, in the entire time that the A Day in the Park with Barney attraction was open, it's one of the few attractions I actually never went to or experienced. So I made a point on this day of recording this video, which is just a few weeks before the area closed, to go in and check out the DreamWorks destination. Now we're heading over to take one final look at Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster just to watch it and see it in action here. Now this Woody Woodpecker coaster, I had actually never been on until about uh, 2011 or 2012, I believe. I used to take my niece to the park when she was younger and I would take her on this ride and she would just beg me to go on it again and again. Sometimes we would ride it maybe 10 times in a row. Now, out of all the things that are located back here in the kids zone, I think the roller coaster is probably the most likely thing that we will see in this area when it reopens. Um, it can be easily rethemed to something else, repainted. And for the final part of our tour here, we're gonna step inside the DreamWorks Destination Building. You can see these are the show times for it here. And then here you can meet all sorts of different characters from the DreamWorks films, they also had all these nice benches in here which you could sit down and relax and of course it was air conditioned in here so it was very comfortable. But as far as our tour goes of the kids zone, we have reached the end. Coming up here in just a second we'll take a look at the construction progress and I've got a lot of good footage of the construction from several different days which will give you a good idea of how this area is progressing. Now for our first look at construction, here's a look at the area the day after it closed. So the construction walls have just been put up. You can see here they have the kid zone sign covered up here and you'll notice over here across the way they still have Shrek and Fiona over here doing a character meet and greet just right across the way and take note here of these construction walls you see here notice how close they come to both the Spongebob Squarepants store as well as ET Adventure now we'll take another look here. We're going to end up on the other side of the construction walls over by the entrance to the Animal Actors on Location stage here. And you can see the area that had the covered seating. They've removed about half the seats that are back here. And they're using that as stroller parking for the Animal Actors show. Now they have since put a food kiosk here. I don't know if the food kiosk is just for Mardi Gras 
or if it is something that is going to remain in place once Mardi Gras is over. Of course, Mardi Gras is going on now through mid-April at the Universal Orlando Resort. And here we'll see an aerial view of the construction from up here at the Animal Actress stage. Now, I filmed this back on January 16th. And on my most recent trip, I went up here again to try to take a couple photos and videos from up here, but they are no longer allowing people to take uh, pictures or videos from the animal actor stage. My guess is they're probably gonna get this work done here on the stage removal, as well as the concrete work done so they can move this construction wall back so it's not so close to the SpongeBob store and ET Adventure. And there's really not a huge difference that you can see here. Um, you can see they have some more characters doing meet and greets out here. You'll notice that the Kid Zone sign has been removed. And you can also see that they have added some DreamWorks artwork and characters to the construction walls. Perhaps this is a foreshadowing of what's to come in this area. Much like the Minions area that is under construction at the front of the park when that area first closed down um, days later there were minions added to both the former ride building for shrek 4d as well as the former building for the monsters cafe and this will conclude the video if you want to see future updates of the construction progress let me know in the comments and i will film them on my next visit and be sure to stay tuned and keep an eye on the channel. I have a ton of new videos coming from the Universal Orlando Resort that I filmed recently. And I'll be doing a couple of videos that I've never really done before. Um, so stay tuned for those. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.